Hey, it's Tyler. Today I'll be speed modeling an apartment for my upcoming short film, Dreamscape Renaissance. I started off the apartment building by building the walls and the floors, trying to get those basic shapes down to encompass the entire room. I wanted to model an apartment because in the script, the short starts in the real world, so I needed to make a home space for Cassidy to retreat to and start modeling the cabinets and the countertops. I make a few minor adjustments to make sure it encompasses every piece of the kitchen. The bevel model has been my best friend through the entire process. I clean up and make the handles for the fridge. I also duplicate them and use them for the cabinets. I usually start off with basic shapes for each element of the apartment. I wanted to keep them simplified and then work in that detail. Time to work on each element of the room to make sure it fits the aesthetic I'm going for. I work on modeling her desk, trying to get that sleek, modern look. I import an FBX chair I found on a turbo squid and start labeling like out all the elements in the room. I have a bad time at organization in Blender, so I'm trying to make sure it all works well together for the final piece. I start working on the dining room table and chairs, which is inspired by mid-century modern design, with circle elements as also sleek pillar for the legs. I start working on importing materials for each of the objects. I'm not the best at realism, so I'm trying to incorporate a sort of cartoony elements to make it more cohesive with my film. I'm also working with the Extreme PBR Materials Library to texture all the elements in the apartment, which makes it a lot easier just to click and drag what kind of elements I want to add to each object. With the materials, I want to make the viewer feel like it's not the most high-end apartment building, but it also feels kind of homey in the end, because that's all that matters. I'm using the Botan Eek plugin as well, built into my Blender files so I can incorporate plants and pottery throughout the entire scene. I previously modeled a bed in another Blender file to help speed up the process.
I start working on the lighting throughout the entire scene, trying to get the big pane window to get that moonlight in from the overlooking city. I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. <laughs> Next, I include some posters on our wall, overlooking her computer monitor. These images are from previous projects I've worked on, to hint at an overall universe. Just a few more elements, like a pencil holder for a desk, and fixing the pillows a little bit more to be more lifelike. Here's the final look for the apartment. I start off with moody lighting, Then I turn on the switch to show the entire room has to be in it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy seeing the entire process I go through modeling. Next video, I'll be working on designs for the side characters for the short film. Please like and subscribe for more process videos on my short film, Dreamscape Renaissance.